and we're live. All right. The so, social security number is. <laughs> don't say that. Oh. Wow. Uh, uh -oh. So you, we are on the latest alpha of the 13th Age Toolkit. That means we have new character sheet stuff. Um, so if you go ahead and open up your sheet. Um, gosh, I don't have a. I've managed to hide this so that the stream can't see it. I am very good at this. Um, how do I fix this? How do I... You don't. Uh, all right. I'm going to drop <laughs> drop Kalia here. I'm going to give the stream. The stream already has permission. And then I'm going to double click Kalia. It's going to open her sheet. Excellent. Uh, that me. So, one, the character sheet is now yellow. Wow, amazing, incredible. I know, I've outdone myself again. Uh, more importantly, you'll see that you have a nice new saves and disengage thing. If you click that, it'll roll it automatically and tell you if you succeeded or not. There are certain magic items that improve your saves and disengage, and that will take them into account. Um... So now when I ask you guys for like normal saves and, so and disengages, you can just click the button. But X. does that automatically figure out who I'm engaged with? No. Whack. Whack. I mean, how could it, right? Well, you see, you program the enemies to have the ability to engage. <laughs> and then you add so much bloat to the system that it's a goddamn slog. Yes, I would like the system to run at one frame per second. That sounds like fun. Um, if you go over to se settings, there are now grouping options as well as automatic calculation of max recoveries. All of you have that on. And um, <laughs> breakfast, dinner. And for everyone but multi class characters, because I forgot to consider that multi class characters are different, there's an automatic wow. max health uh, uh, option as well. I've plugged this in for everyone. It calculates your health automatically if you toggle it on. If it's not toggled on, it's still an edit field like before. Same for recoveries. Magic items help both. Um, good to go. Now, the grouping, uh, I've there's three grouping options. One is by power type. This is new. Um, that groups it by features, talents, spells, powers, maneuvers, and other. Um, that's, I think, most of your sheets. The one you're using before is grouped by if power is action or not. That's, that's the old one that, that's still available. And then finally, you can go group by manual power. And it's not going to do much unless you uh, edit a power and then enter a group field on items. And it will go through and group everything by those values, which is great for things like Chaos Mage and such, or if you're, you really just have groups that you like. Um, feel free to set it to what makes you happiest. Selecting group by manual power group won't work unless you actually input a group. It'll just stay the same. Um... Yeah, that's, that's up to you to pick. Um, if you have toughness, I don't think anyone does, but that's under special traits now. That will also add to automatic health. Not that you want it. No, it's real bad. It's so bad. Um, any questions about the new sheet? Feel free to go ahead and roll your saves and disengages if you really want to see it at work. Where was all that setting stuff again? On your character sheet, it's on settings, and then there's a whole slew of settings. Is there a way to, um, like on, on my sheet, the way I have it organized, it says like maneuvers and other. Is there a way to like not have those show since I don't have any of those, or does it just automatically populate? It currently automatically populates. Um, I ran out of time to finish some of those things. Wow. Uh, I, well, <laughs> Go back to the old sheet, still works. So, you know, you no, just... no, no, please. No, God, no, please. Also, uh, I didn't know it was not yellow this whole time because it looked yellow this whole time because I used flux set so oh. <laughs> yellow that it looked yellow this whole it was time. Like paper so I was white like, before and now it's paper yellow. It it looks exactly the same. It has not, has not changed. <laughs> um, someone in chat asked, What does toughness do? Toughness. Uh, every class has a base health that they multiply, they add their constitution and multiply by. Most people's is around eight. 
at adventure tier, it adds half of that base health to your total health, which means four extra health. That's it. That's all it does. A whole feat just to do that. At champion tier, it goes all the way up to the full value. At epic tier, it's double. At max level whatever epic tier is, you get a whole whopping 16 health. Woo! Uh, the shield bearer had a feat that had that, and uh, he told me not to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it's bad. It's not good. It's <laughs> anyway, so we are back with 13th Age. We had our community tournament last week. Um, this time around, new thing we're going to do is not only are we going to go person by person, who are you, who are you playing, but also what's one thing you want to remind the party and viewers about just someone you met in the past an event that happened a particularly cool moment in the campaign it, do, it could have been from session one just something well, um, thank you me six <laughs> um rumham start us off me oh no in alphabetical order i'm at the top oh no <laughs> um i'm playing kalia um, her full name doesn't fit in the Discord nickname thing, uh, but I'm playing Kalia, uh, and I'm a cleric slash shield bearer, but really just a shield bearer because I can't cast any cleric spells. You just got because... your invocations and domains <laughs> back last I just got my session. invocations back, yes. Uh, I can't do that because I have forsaken my, uh duty to the crusader and i would like to remind the gm that i have forsaken my duty to the crusader i think i should be punished for it uh, and i said this last time uh last yeah, time we played you had assassins attack you yeah yeah uh with the whole like uh the death knives i i felt like i should have been punished a little bit harder for using my five you felt uh, like you should have <laughs> been punished harder you I heard mean... it here first folks i'm a <laughs> i was apparently I... too lenient with the <laughs> auto critting sword i and i said this last time and you gave me shit for it last time too but uh i don't know i just i haven't been punished for for, for crusading for forsaking the crusader recently and i'm kind of in the mood to get punished for it that's all. That's all. Right, you that, that's, that's Maybe you don't history. say that while we're in a room with a minotaur. <laughs> I just, guess, yeah, yeah. Just saying. Not right now. Not not right now, of course. Not right now. But, like, later, you know? <laughs> all right, Ellen? Uh, yeah, so I'm Ellen. I play Dame Kiri Jade Spine, who is an opera-performing dwarf. Um, she's the first dwarf to be an opera-renowned, uh, sorry, an empire-renowned opera singer. Um, she is a bard, obviously, um, and she's also the head of her dwarf clan, um, sort of by coup. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know, something to remember. Um, oh gosh, I'm just drawing a blank here. Um, it could just be something that happened that you like, or an NPC you met, or just like all all I have in my mind is that Dame Kiri Jade Spine's house is the one that like we use as a base if we ever leave this dungeon. That's a good. That's a perfectly fine and good fact to share. Pow and it's a beautifully furnished house. It is. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am playing Leanne Morns, a commander. She is the world's first legislatorator. A uh law enforcing bounty hunter hybrid of sorts uh one thing that uh we've done in the past huh mm, yep Just one thing huh one thing uh i believe i have been the only player here who has uh taken the reins as a game master in the past um, um, yeah, uh, Ellen and Rumham both came up with one shots, but had me run the mechanical side for them. All right, and uh, that went about as well as you would expect with Kalia around <laughs> and Lucian. Hey, 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 hey. Um, it, it, I was trying to do things, Lucian was the one that was being weird about it, okay. Yeah, okay. well, you're both at a fault here, and that's why you had to fight a rat in the bathroom. <laughs> right, right, I remember that. All right, Max? All right, 
Um, I'm Max. I play Lucian, who is a ranger, um, just an average small town um, butcher family, um, did a lot of hunting and things like that. Family got killed by werewolves. He's the only survivor. He became one. Um, and then a priest um, had him figure out how to control his rage. Kind of works like the Hulk. Um, so the play style is a ranger barbarian, uh, where I'm ranger and human, and then um, I can control my rage, um, so to speak, and when I do, um, turn into a <laughs> massive werewolf. Um, something about him, um, he's all, yeah, obviously because the priestess uh, was part of the reason why he can control um, his rage. He's a devout priestess fan. And he was pretty much solely responsible for Kalia's uh, denouncing of the Crusader. No, 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 not pretty much. Is. Is All responsible. Right. I'll take 100% <laughs> credit, even though that <laughs> whole character or storyline seemed to be leading you to make a decision. But I'll take it. <laughs> it's not like I had, like, nine health with an arrow in my shoulder and another one pointed at my face or anything. And finally, our newest player, Seb. Hi. Uh, wow. Already introduced by the GM. Uh, I'm Seb. I play Raza, uh, the lizard man from outer space, and Halval, the accompanying sentient axe. Um, there, that is really the depth of this character. Uh, it's ultra violence and gold at the end of the day. Um, and I would just like to remind everybody to floss every day. Thank you. Oh, we're getting back on this, huh? We're gonna go back to this, huh? Rosa, can you tell me can you tell me one time on your sci-fi home world where someone didn't floss and didn't turn up for them? Oh, yeah. Um you know Raza probably has a problem with bleeding gums himself. <laughs> All right. Um so last we left off, you guys were towards the end of the gauntlet. You had um, defeated the Medusa in the maze of the Medusa. Um, you had recruited some harpies to your side. Uh, and you had then entered a large dwarven temple where a crack was just full of bones of slain humans and adventurers and all sorts of creatures. And this massive, stinky minotaur has shambling around a sword embedded inside its chest, smelling like it should have been dead a hundred years ago. And while sneaking around... What does it smell like? What does it smell like? Uh, you know, like, if you accidentally leave out, like meat too long and it gets just rotty and yeah it's like that yeah okay um the party distracted the minotaur for a bit successfully um by firing arrows and the dame made all of the hammers and such come to life making a bunch of noise and then as uh lucian who was in the front um made a dash for it the minotaur charged at him uh, and at the last second, Lucian was pulled into a secret uh, part of the wall by someone. Uh, and then all a bunch of rubble came down on the wall around it, thanks to the curse that tieflings have when enemies roll 1 to 5. Oddly enough, this one's double strength. Now, Lucian, was was your Grizz with you on this, or was he still back with the group? Um... <laughs> I think he was still back with the group. I mean, I'll, we kind of end it really quickly. So up to you on where Grizz was. Um, I mean, I guess he probably would have been running with me, but I can have him stay back by the group. It was your choice now. He can either have slipped into the crack with you or be back with the group. All right, he'll be back at the group. All right. Now, from the group's perspective, all you saw was a minotaur charge at Lucian and rubble come crashing down around. Um, now, this double strength tiefling curse has now stunned the minotaur. It can, it will skip its next turn. Use it wisely, and we will get to it. Also, you all have your new icons and tokens. Yeah. Let me find. Grizz is just in an eternal sit. 
Just a little good boy, eternally sitting, waiting for a treat. Oh, right. Since you can't see it from top down, um, you should know that from the character's point of view, he's actually not sitting, he's hovering. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening in canon. Yes. We're just uh... never going to mention it again. One second Grizz as I eight. pull up everything. Uh, so it is still Lucian's turn. Lucian was just pulled in after moving. Um, that is the Oops. end of Lucian's human turn. Uh oh, there's roll. There's rolling happening. Sorry, that was an accident. That's okay. I like the Less blue dice. Um, uh, now. As I mentioned, the rest of the party saw rubble come down and collapse around the Minotaur, dazing it, um, as well as Lucian just kind of disappeared under the rubble. What is Grizz going to do? Um, Grizz is going to run for his master. Even with the big Sari monster in that same pile? Where's the door, you say? Uh, there is a big, obvious set of doors over here. Um, the thing is, is that Grizz doesn't have hands. He does not, no. <laughs> um, the door, as previously described, I'll bring it back up, used to be a big, giant archway, big enough to fit maybe six or seven dwarves side by side, and some of their tall constructs without ducking. It has now been um cemented and bricked in so that there's one big crack down the middle about big enough for a person to squeeze through it looks oh, designed to keep in you know the minotaur all right grace will make a run for that how far can he get uh if he's not attacking he can get all the way there and start uh hopping in and barking back all right I can't move for us, but that's what he will do. The game's game paused. paused. Done. Go, Grizz, go. Dun, 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 Grizz dun, runs dun, past, dun, dun. avoiding the the shrieking gaze of the ghosts that are still wandering around, dodging between bits of rubble, uh, and then hops and in, sidles into the crack of the door and turns back around, just like, yep, yep, come on, over here, yep. No, please shut the fuck up. Don't. He does not sound like that. What? No. Why? Don't you bark. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on, guys. Get over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chris, you talk? Wow. We've had Scooby Doo this whole time. No, <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm yeah, pretty more sure like Chris is more worried about Lucian than the group. So I don't think he'll wait up. Um, all right. Raza is now your turn. Um, what do you do? Now, hold on. The Minotaur... The Minotaur can see the crack in the wall. It saw Grizz run in there. I mean, the Minotaur right now is, uh, under a pile of rubble, and it's quite dazed, and from, as a result, it did not see anything. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't have my... No, I don't have... My teleport. Um, I assume there's shiny stuff in here that I can't see. Uh, but I'm not going to make a big deal out of this. Uh, uh, if I use both actions... This is this used to be a temple. There's actually surprisingly little treasure and such here. Oh. That's boring. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah. Assuming I use both actions, how far can I get? You can get all the way over to the door as well if you want. Okay, uh, I follow Grizz on all fours. Um, uh, Grizz went all the way over here. Uh, do, you, do you glance wait, over a door. at... Yeah. So Lucian... Oh, right, because the rubble fell. So you yes. run past the rubble, and you like as you look over, you can see little white tendrils starting to extend from the wall towards the rubble. From the wall towards the rubble. Kind of I'm... really a milky, webby look. No, I don't fuck with the ectoplasm. That's, that's a good life rule. Mm, it slimed me. All right, Dame. Um, yeah. Two Grizz and Raza just made out the door successfully. Um, Lucian is still somewhere, possibly dead under that rubble. Sun team, get out of the room. 
Um, it has to go slowly because there's like walls in the way. Mm -hmm. It reeks as you pass the Minotaur. She's got like a whoops, sorry for hitting the mic. She's got like a a, a hand, a, like an elbow over her mouth, as though she's gonna cough, but it's just for the smell. At the at the point you pass, um, the ten the ectoplasmic tendrils have started attaching to the rocks and is shifting them around. All right, great. Rumham. Um. Okay, the, the fog of war is very crazy right now, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on on this map. Can you ping where everybody, the direction everybody was going in? I again? can just bring you there if you want. Okay, well, well, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to go over there all the way. Okay, well, they went, essentially, uh, yeah, they ping, they went over here. Okay, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> and is there like, a, over here can can i go like this way yeah you could go around as far as you can see there are gat uh, specters which at this point have become upset oh, okay so like if i go over here then i could possibly get hit um yeah you or could. engage myself okay um <clears throat> i mean as much as as Kalia has her issues with Lucian. Uh, he, um, you know, might be in that pile of rubble somewhere. Um, so, um, I wanna, I wanna like just stay right here uh, and investigate and see if I can see him and if he's okay. Uh, go ahead and make a wisdom check. Oh, thank goodness. Just, um, regular old all wisdom. wisdom check, because I don't have any backgrounds that are applicable. 21! You mean tell me you haven't looked at a pile of rubble for hours on end? <laughs> uh, it take, I, I it is so. It is dim and dark, and it takes a little bit of searching. Um, and also, the turn tracker apparently is all sorts of wrong. Uh, but um, you can see... You don't see any evidence of bodies under the pile, and more importantly, you see the 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 faint outline of a hidden door in that wall. Okay. I'm free. Okay. Uh, I mean, as, if I don't see Lucian's body, then uh, and I see a door, then I'm just gonna run to uh, to the. You could to try to run else. over the rubble and find and get into that door. Why would I do that? Isn't the Minotaur like right here? He is done. I'm just yeah. listing options. Don't don't take that GM advice. <laughs> that is not good. Thank you. Remember, this is a GM who advised that. So I go either to the of the I store. go here or I go over here, yep. basically. Those... I'm gonna I'm gonna go here. What? Just, I don't know. Turn. Are you asking for death? I think so. No. <laughs> That's... No, it's right there, and the Minotaur is like under some rocks. So I'm just gonna run. All it's right. It's right there. Plus, Kali doesn't know Lucian might be stuck in between a rock and a secret door. Uh, for maximum suspense, we're gonna move you over there as you start looking for how to get into the secret door, and then it is now the Death Shade's turn. Um, the Death Shades have seen, are, are the ghosts of those who have been killed by the Minotaur who haunt this place. Man, there's a lot of just shades in the gauntlet. A lot of upset ain't dead people. Um, hmm, I wonder why. What? Yeah, I wonder why. Um, the double place. They are bound to this room, however, and can't get to the Dame, Raza, or Grizz. Um, so one of them's going to go this way, looking for the rest of the party. Uh, and the other two are going to go engage Kalia and just touch her with some icy cold hands, the kind that you're like, no, you get those away from me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> here today. Okay, well, the second one hits, but the first one is laughable. Uh, not only that, it's a one to five. Uh, do you want to give me a tiefling curse? No. Once per battle. Oh, the room. never. Well, okay. Um, wow, follow the rules. My we always handicap ourselves. 
<laughs> you um, want me to let that Minotaur hit you with that miss damage? Uh, the, fir- the first cast, um, your shield manages to deflect it, and then the second one does hand sink right through and just are icy cold on you as so you take 18 damage. Um, and finally, Burr. Leanne. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, this seems like a great, great time for everyone involved. Well, I've got a plan. Fly, you fools. Fucking. God, line of sight is big dick. Is is dark. Hmm. There's a minotaur right there. There is a minotaur right there. And so there's you see Kalia on top of the rubble, two shades around her as she's like pawing at the wall for whatever reason. Hmm. Let me uh, consider my uh, circumstances here. Is that the same words for weigh the odds? Yeah, I was just fearing that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm considering. I can make it to the crack, right? Mm-hmm. Fucking vibrate here. Would that be both my action? Uh, yep. Because you would have downgraded your standard to a move. You see Raza like s- sideways trying to squeeze his way through. Dame pushing behind, pushing him as he goes. Yeah, I feel like you can do this a little more orderly, guys. Um, by the time you pass by the pile, entire rocks are floating in midair as they start sucking towards the wall. The wall is, seems to be actively repairing itself. That's... Hmm. Yeah, that seems like devil magic. It is now the Minotaur's turn. Uh, he is shaking his head, uh, trying to get up, br- getting bit, bit uh, as less rubbles on him uh, because the, it's rebuilding the wall. And as the, you know, he gets up, he's getting up, uh, he's pushing rubble off of himself. Uh, he'll be able to act next turn. Um, Lucian, uh, you are still behind a wall and Grizz is out of combat. Um, from where you are, you are actually safe and can go grab Kalia and pull her in or shoot out. Uh, I'm going to save Kalia. Um, you work the lever of the secret door again and Kalia just kind of falls in her uh, big tower shield momentarily catching the sides as she stumbles in and then you quickly close the door behind her. Miss me? Um, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> and you have all, ex- uh, assuming you know Leanne uses her turn to uh, get out. You have escaped the Minotaur. We did it, boys! <laughs> the killer encounter. Oh. Good thing it was a stun. Aha. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. Joke's on us, though. He's still going to be there when we have to come back out. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> My curse will recharge. So who is who is this person that's pulled? Hold on. That's, oh. I managed to load the gauntlet. Get me, bring me to the gauntlet. I'm the GM. I get to be on my own maps. Hmm. I don't know about that one, Chief. Mm. It's not even your map. It's the map for the the adventure. Uh, you don't right. get to I be also... on the map. Okay, hold on. I uh, you guys should see the path you've taken to this point. Uh, so uh, first we'll narrate what where Lucian and um, you know what the easier one. The rest of the party besides Lucian and Kalia, uh, you after sidling your way through this fairly long and like it is. 10 feet deep of bricks that they set up to keep this minotaur in. Uh, you've gotten out the other side are in just this fairly simple stone corridor um, leading down. There's a bit of cobblestone um, extending from the temple and then it goes straight to just natural stone. Um, Lucian and Kali, on the other hand, are in, behind a hidden door at the bottom of the staircase uh, looking at a at the face of a fairly handsome tiefling cleric. 
Uh, <laughs> what? Thanks for saving me, bro. <laughs> Um, now I'm gonna try something new, and that I have a updated, um, oh, visual- Oh, Oh, oh no. no. Not again. <laughs> We're back, baby. Hopefully this one works. It's gonna be a bit weird going between text and voice. Feel free to use text instead. You can click- Oh, you can- If I give you your characters, you can click your characters. What is- One second. What is this? Does not there compute. We, go. we haven't oh. done this before. Oh no. Wait, we've talked to this guy before, haven't we? No. No. Well, that name sounds familiar though. Maybe that other character had that name and I'm just remembering that now. Um, I mean, if you watch the uh, Gen Con stream, you recognize it. No, I did not. I yes. swear on my life, I told you to, and I swear on my life I did not watch it because I realized it was going to be the same thing we were doing. Uh, making him not invisible so you can see him. Uh, as a tiefling, he has long, grand-style horns. Um, and where's my notes? I have a journal. Uh, just in uh, case some party people don't remember what a tiefling is. <laughs> that, that's really <laughs> Yeah, just so <laughs> it's not like we have a tiefling in our party or anything. Oh, it's a Leanne? Yes. It yes, is. it's a yeah. Leanne. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were going to be like, I remember what a tiefling is, but no, you've you, you you've said that because you were asking. That's kind of <laughs> terrible. Moving on. That's, that's that's the, the most max way of asking a question about something in fantasy ever. When we met the Minotaur, he was like, are we supposed to know what a Minotaur is? I mean, I know what it is, but are we supposed to know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, so he is a devilishly <laughs> handsome tiefling uh, cleric. His shield has the sigil of the bright god of mercy on it. Mm. Uh huh, and he should actually talk on screen this time around. Yes. Oh, wow. That's cool. wow. Good job, me. Wow. How do I give him a gift? Oh. He's so handsome. Well, bless the the priestess here. I see you, um, our fan. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, hold on. I've closed my uh, journal already. I can close it. Because I'm a dumb dumb. All right. I'm going to. This is new. I'm sorry. I have some stuff pre typed and some not. I'm going to just alternate between. Ah, yes, the Bright Gods. Uh, big fan. They raised me. I, I was I was raised in them as a child. It's Santa Cora? No, no, no. In the Empire. That's ironic. Wow. Uh, How'd you end up here? Oh, that's a tell. But first, didn't you have more in your party? Um, Are they yeah. still out there with the Minotaur? Kaleo? Uh, I... You I saw them don't... all escaping. Yeah, yes. Yeah, uh, I just, you know, I, I came digging for what I thought was going to be a dead body. Uh, but instead, that was very noble uh, of magic you. door. I see. You do care. <laughs> no, no. I just, you know, we needed something to bring back for your funeral. So it you brings know, it I... brings a great smile to my face to see a holy one in a party helping out the her party members. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, what no, bright no, god no, do you no, follow? No, 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 no. no. Uh, ah, you know, I'm a, a noble Ixnay choice. Ixnay on the odd og say uh, but, stuff. You know, I'm. He a... slaps your shield. Ah, I see a follower of the great golden worm instead. No, 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 no ass scales here. Uh, -uh. Um, no ass Kyaria? scales. Kyaria, uh, how about we cut to where the party is before we offend this man? <laughs> who I don't us. care about offending this guy. You think uh, I care? He, he saved my life. Um, where's the party? You saved my life, man. <laughs> I should have left. This one's a joke. So Where's the phone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what'd you say? I presume they went through the double doors that we saw that I was heading towards. 
Ah, uh, yes, come with me, come with me. He leads you down a side path and hits a few levers and such and be like, you can never be too careful. The gauntlet's full of dangers. And the party on the other <laughs> side see another hidden door in their way open up, and there's Lucian and Kalia and a handsome-looking tiefling on the other side. Lucian? I thought you... Yeah, me too. Thank the um, priestess. I'm here, and I'm here with some help. Um, as you also, help. as you make the sigil to the priestess, he makes his own holy sigil. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna be best friends. Uh, also, where's our other dude? Verlon had uh, went with the rest of the party. Oh, Stinky's still here. Verlon is hiding. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> is like hiding behind Raza, a bit scared of this cleric. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me and you. Me and you both. Don't worry, guys. She's or he's uh, friends of the priestess, and I'm sure he'll help us to save the uh, lighthouse. Windmill. 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 Really, Windmill. dude. It's it's a priestess it's been a, thing. It's been a while. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh Yeah. No, we're we're a pretty strong party when it comes to it. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, use... Wait, wait! In character chat, just pops up on the screen. Yeah, now. that's awesome. Oh, no. you can... now, now you can all Seb. see Leanne and call you bicker. Seb, you can type slash em to do stuff like uh, licks his eye. Why em? Uh, emote. Ah, uh, what about slash me? Huh? Oh. What if I wanted to be about me? Fair enough, though. Oh, he's offering us food. No, he's not offering. No. That's the only thing he didn't <laughs> offer. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's what the text on the screen says. The text on the I screen don't... says I don't have food to share. <laughs> oh, it's covered by the stupid players box. I can't yeah, read it's it all. Hard to yeah. Unfortunately, we have to keep going. Do you know if the Minotaur is called the Butcher? I could use a break. I don't know if you see how much health I have, but uh, I could I could use a quick break to charge my dailies. We'll recover right now. But my dailies? Oh, oh no, the okay. map butcher is different. All right, maybe we rest. <laughs> oh, you use the picture. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> what? Why are we all talking in chat? <laughs> it's just so neat. Let us enjoy our feature. <laughs> Two words hard to fix this. I don't, I don't like reading. You that's like out of character in, That's chat. very oh in God. character. Oh. Actually, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we, take us to your place. We love to rest for a little bit here. I'd love to uh, talk to you a little bit more about this place and how you got here. I would love that. Uh, he brings you up um, to... It is, in fact, far less stinky Oh my than, god, Kalia yeah, flew. We gotta stop sending each other at the same time. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Just, just relax, enjoy the show, let Cody move everybody for you. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> um... All right, look at this. Now I don't have to read my own exposition. Uh, he gathers you around the least stinky part of this belfry, the place where the um, people who work the temple used to uh, stay. There's a bunch of bedrooms and such. Um, he There's a small fire that he starts for you guys that keeps you warm, uh, but he's... Um, yeah, that would be a good idea, pal. Uh, and he sits you around and starts telling his tale. I'm going to click him first before I paste this so it actually shows up. Look at that scroll. Oh, my God. <laughs> I grew up in access oh, no, being I... rescued from a diabolist cult as a child by a group of paladins and war clerics. I never had much, but the church gave me a home and a family. There are certainly those in access who treated me unkindly for being a tiefling in the service of the Empire and Bright Gods, but the god I followed was that of mercy, so I simply pitied the evil in their hearts. After Amen. some time, I moved to a small town in the west of Axis and established a new, clir a new church there, leading the locals to the... I can't read this. To the salvation of the, of the Bright, Bright Gods. God. Thank you, Sab. <laughs> so much better voices than me. <laughs> Oh, it's going to sit there for a oh. long time, isn't it? 
Oh, One day, word reached our church of a newly discovered dungeon in the area, fraught with perils and creatures that may harm those I was guiding. Leaving the church in the capable hands of one of my priests, I set out to the local inn, a bag full of pithy gold, and recruited a party. It didn't take longer than an hour for our party to be split asunder, routed by fear and terror. I found sanctuary in this dwarven belfry, although what I... Although what a dwarven temple was doing in a fresh dungeon near Axis, I could not say. Mine god and the dwarven forge god have come to some pact to keep me safe, however, and here I stay, saving any I can. Oh, are you saying the priest has kept you safe this whole time? Or your bright god? Let the man talk. I found a plan of the temple, but it appears to be old. Here you can see the belfry used to connect to a forge. But I have seen no such evidence. Maybe this was just draft plans? There is an archive connected to this belfry, but off the passageway does not work. Blocked off by some magic or seasonal shift of the stone, it seems. Um... Nope, not done. Done. This is oh. the last one. A final note are the orcs. They are wont to sneak past the minotaur while it is sleeping, going in and out of the local area to patrol. For what, I am not certain, but I have heard mention of runaway slaves who might be trying to escape to the surface, or someone named the Provost. They seem to live here in great numbers. I have counted at least a battery. That's a hundred for you fucking simpletons of distinct orcs <laughs> over my time here. Sab, you get a free reroll on your next skill check for reading. Yeet! <laughs> um, so what I'm gathering out of character is that he doesn't think that we're in the Stone Thief? Correct. Alright. More manipulation. <laughs> Alright. Um, is it up to Lucian? You can take charge. Alright. Oh. Well, Bartholomew, um, unfortunately, by the priest, we do have some bad news. <laughs> You're not where you think you are. We're in the belly, actually, the, where are we, the gizzard? Uh, you're in the gauntlet. The, the gauntlet of the stone thief, which is a giant Alaskan bullworm that eats everything in its path. Called the Living Dungeon, living Lucian. Dungeon. <laughs> Guys, you said I could handle. <laughs> well, you're not doing a good job. I'll give you something when needed. Keep going. Probably, you're you're probably right, Bartholomew. But that's that's not the point. Um, the point is that um, we're here trying to save the lighthouse, and the priestess, um, the village outside of windmill. Uh, uh, a windmill outside of. Santa Cora got small. Oh. I'll continue. Okay. <laughs> so you must help us to find this quest, and then we will help you um, to get back to your church and your calling. And find out what you've missed, because Worst the world has been going on ever. about. Could have picked a better party pet. Stinky's a better party pet than this guy. Uh, what's the word you use? Um, a path or goal for him? Um, I said help us, and then we will help him get back to the church that he found in. What is that? What is your quest? <laughs> uh, I type jungle instead of fucking... Dungeon. I mean, maybe dungeon. 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 <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> you know, to, to, I, nobody will be able to make it. I, we are a fearless party that um, really shouldn't have made it this far as is. Uh, I don't think that there's going to be many people that survive here. The only people who live here seem to be goblins that know the inner workings. So I, I would suggest we leave, but have you talked to your god? Oh, really? Why are you picking yourself? That was an accident. That was an accident. That was an accident. 
So you're tasked to be here and and just help people pass the Minotaur? And dungeon. <laughs> yeah, the text is a little uh, delayed on my screen. I kind of jump started his actual dialogue on the right side <laughs> while he keeps yeah. monologuing on the left. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Broken. <laughs> uh oh. Alpha package. Uh oh. <laughs> um. All right. Well, then we will we will leave you to your task. We will just Excellent. rest and um, and be about our way. But we wish you the, the the best of luck. I mean, there's plenty of things that are way more evil on the surface. I mean, come on. You want to talk about dark gods? I know a thing or two about dark gods. I think you'd love these things called hell holes. Oh, you go smite crazy Not in that there. Earth elemental. Uh, yeah, clerics don't yeah. smite. Yes, they do. Do they in 13? No, you fight. Tell us more about the Earth Elemental. Oh. Oh, I got it right. The Mad Puncher. Oh, <laughs> oh, boy. All right, tell us about him. How do we get by? You've helped other people. Classic bad guy. Yes, I have a set of lungs on him to fill the whole place with it. Uh oh. He throws huh. traps? Can you expand on that a little bit? Are you talking the traps that hunters use for bears? Like rabbits? Are they snares? Are they designed to grab you and mug all of your money? Okay. What else, Bob? How do people get past them? Oh. Yes, I believe we have come into contact with oh, one of those right. previously, upon yes. entering this very level of the dungeon, in fact. It's rather unfair. So, okay. so can... a list with a sense of honor bound pact. Uh, All right. pact not, made with... We have not heard you in a while, Alan. No, is my mic not oh, working? Now it is. Okay. Would that be a pact made here inside of the thief? <laughs> hmm. Do you happen to know which god controls the stone thief? He lives in the old library of a dwarf who once researched here. That's a wasted opportunity since like only two of our people know how to read. <laughs> oh! Which, which two? Yeah, yeah, it's which Leanne two? and the dame, obviously. Callie just looked at the pictures and choosing in the archives. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, what about me? I mean, I, I think all of the building, all the bulking has just gone to Callie's head and she's just lost a couple brain cells along the way. I'm pretty Part sure I let a, a, a letter from a fae, so I gotta be one of the two. As a, I'm pretty sure you, I had to read it. <laughs> As part of her clerical training, uh, Kalia had to do some monastic exercises, and instead of like writing down the stuff that she was read, she just drew all the pictures. Yep, <laughs> yep. coloring books, all of them. All right. Yeah. Um... But what do you mean, Bartholomew, about killing death? Who wants to die? This is a useful information. <laughs> well, 
I can think of a lot of people who don't want to die. Yeah, like us. Gromar is the dwarf, if you didn't pick up my context. Okay, where's the library? Oh, it's with the okay. butcher. All right. Uh, how about we start by going, he said that there was an archive near here that might have maps and stuff. Let's start by seeing if the archive is there and then investigate this library. Okay. That's the same place. And oh, they are? Can we rest long enough to get our dailies back in case we encounter the mad butcher? No. No? No. It's illegal. Okay. Uh, I'm you ready. just can't get Let's... a full rest when it's this stinky, alright? I'm not sure how he sleeps uh, here. So what, do we get from the, what do we get from a short rest? Uh, all the time. Short rest, you can use as many recoveries as you want and roll recharges. Including recharges, recharges you didn't spend last battle. Uh, and roll a recharge? If you have a recharge that's expired, roll it now. I think I have one that I didn't roll. Earlier. Plus con is 15. Not enough. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm rolling. Nice work. Wow. We did it, boys. I can tell you to attack people again. Yes. The priest is proud of us here. Damn it. Don't, don't shock me. <laughs> no, the priestess did not bring us here. We were tasked by the spirit of a great serpent to bring this foul beast to heal. No, that also isn't entirely correct. Please don't make me say his full title. Someone oh, else Blue Balls! Heard. Blue Balls sent us here. Yeah, Blue Balls. And he gave us... I mean, we have a fang that could do a ritual to kill the stone thief. Yeah, it... Blue Balls gave yeah, me these weird, the uh, these weird things, and Kalia has like all the arrows. Actually, the shit. Serp the serpent god gave us the things. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I I got the serpent god uh, death killer things, but we were told to yes. come here by Blue Balls. Oh yes, we even know Usador's true name. That was fun. What a lovely wizard. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Apparently, people like Usador. I can't explain that. People? That sounds like person to me, singular. <laughs> yeah. Half hey, hey, person. I mean, Ber Birdie likes them, so. Do you know how much battery and assault Usador has gained? Oh, yeah, leave Stinky with Bartholomew. No! We taking Stinky? We're gonna yeah. take Stinky to the no, Mad Butcher? No, no, let's let's. We're taking Stinky to the Mad Butcher. <laughs> just just let that settle in for a second. We're gonna take Stinky with us to go fight something called the Mad Butcher. Hey, I guess we'll fight him. <laughs> stinky, I... please stay here with this sexy devil. <laughs> Quite attractive. Uh, Verlon <laughs> does the most gross wink towards the tiefling. All right, we never, definitely, definitely X, not. X, X, All right, we um, <laughs> never specified. <laughs> All right, we never specified which way he swings. So hey, the priestess <laughs> saved you from your vampirism. Remember. Yes. You have to help us with the windmill. Of course, and I shall, I shall rule the stone thief. Yeah. I apologize, Bartholomew. Wink. I must go. Uh... Didn't you want to be the custodian? Uh, we can, we can talk about that later. All right, let's go. I'm at the short rest. All right, everyone recovered up to what they want to be. Yeah, I'll do one. Look at that. Y'all, I only have like two recoveries left, so I'm not going to be healing anyone. That's hey, fine. Bartholomew is well of age. Thank you very much. That's why it's barely legal. 
<laughs> he's uh he's jailbait tiefling. Um he does put one long lingering uh hand on Leanne's shoulder and is like, I'm sure the bright gods will find a path for you as well. <laughs> Good try, dude. I assure you. The Empire has a better path than the gods ever will. Well. <laughs> his, his face goes a little stone cold at that, and then he starts, you know, promptly gets up, dusts off his, you know, the dust off him, and starts leading you guys to down a winding path and into the library. I only moved the boot. That good. Oh, hey, this good. doesn't look too bad. Yeah. It uh, looks kind of cool. So if this it's is a dwarven library. Well. What can the Dane see with her like mantle that isn't here? Or is it pretty much intact? Uh, it is pretty much intact. Um, you can see that there is a drawing of an eye on the floor. There is what is definitely a dwarven statue. I mean, sorry, skeleton. That's a dwarven skeleton. I don't know what you guys are seeing, but that's a dwarven skeleton right there on the floor next to the wall. Hmm. Uh, hmm. There's tons of books and such on the walls. And in fact, um, if there's information you guys are looking for, you can probably find it here. Something Connections to, you know, hints for something, uh, info on a topic, um, name of one thing you look for while you're browsing this. What's the main bag I'm looking for? Um, the uh, gosh, we haven't talked about him in so long. I kind of don't remember. Uh, the Great <laughs> Ghoul. Yep. The Great Ghoul. Right, right, right. All right. So you're gonna look for the Great Ghoul then, Lucian. Mm-hmm. Um. All also, right. I'm gonna actually, you know, thank the dude who walked us here and for saving my. So he's gone now. Uh, yeah, he, he waves you guys goodbye and doesn't cross into the, uh, you know, he's already slinked back up the way. He does not want to be seen. He doesn't want to be found. He apparently makes his, only survives because the Mad Butcher isn't really sure where or he is or that he exists. Um, anyway, so while searching around, what you find info on the Great Ghoul, do you just want general info? Or are you ask, Are you looking for a particular thing? How do we beat it? <laughs> <laughs> I love that, GM. You find a, a section talking about how the great ghoul is death incarnate itself, feasting on the, the dead to grow ever stronger. Um, it talks about how the uh, age that they chased out the great ghoul was one where they starved it of death of dead. They burnt all their bodies and then uh, purified those ashes. And when they launched an assault on the Great Ghoul's Keep, they burned every body along the way, leaving him nothing to feed off of. Burst into his uh, air, into his room and found nothing. And he was never seen from again. Well, that's great. It's great information. <laughs> Should I tear up the page when Dave's not looking? Yeah, absolutely. You can take the book if you want. Like, you can just take oh, the book. Okay, I'll take the book. <laughs> um, Raza, what does Raza and Havel do in such a place? Uh, so, seeing as there's two, uh, two characters here to be motivated by, I think uh, Havel will um, ask the Dane before Raza slinks off. Um, if you if you if you happen if you happen to find anything about the restoration of souls to bodies, please let me know. <laughs> and then, uh, as Halval's fa voice sort of fades into the distance, it's because Raza is sort of like slinking from shelf to shelf. Um, he's sort of like licking the air around him, uh, and he settles on a old uh, journal filled with like drawings of uh forest and swamp biota like for uh flora and fauna of this planet's um deep wet forests uh and he just sits down like a toddler to flip through the pictures you know and remind himself of home mm -hmm. Aww, that's uh, so cute. 
the dame in her search does find a book. She doesn't. I mean, I assume the dame doesn't know a lot about rituals and such, but she's like, this has the right having. She knows how to fake them on stage. Yep. Uh, and so she pick, put pockets a book for that. Uh, as um, like Roz is looking for this picture book and such, there is on one of the shelves a small, sleek, stainless steel block, no bigger than a thumb. And the end of it protrudes oddly in this smaller steel thing with little pins and prongs. It's a USB. Uh, he picks his. He's seen one of these before. Mm -hmm. he's a a scavenger he's seen one of these before Mm -hmm. he's gonna pluck that off the shelf and put it in his bag for later he swallows it he has a holding pouch in his his guts that's where he holds stuff you're drowned with such a nice backpack that's a that's a holding case for Mm -hmm. sure fine he has a backpack uh no it's up to you You a little teeny tiny backpack (laughs) maybe that anyway um Leanne, what are you? What info are you seeking? Leanne hasn't been really searching for anything in specific, but she does find a nice cookbook. Oh, there's some old, long-forgotten recipes that are of interest there. Uh, really, Leanne? Really, that's what you go? That's what you look for? <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, we've been eating like shit. I could use some uh, some new some new spices in my life. Uh, you also find a small primer on uh, where to find interesting spices and ingredients. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Dame, oh, you... Real quick. Uh, we do have water breathing, everyone. Just want to remind you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, Dame, you're looking... You find that one book for Raza while you're looking. What else do you look for? Um, I think the dame is also looking for maps and like of of the stone thief, like anything about the stone thief, and then also um, that that like schematics about a weapon to kill death. Mm-hmm. Can she also be keeping an eye out, like if she sees any magazines on interior decorating, she just kind of grabs those. Yes, yes to that one on the maps. This is all knowledge that was in this library beforehand for the most part, so there's no maps of the stone. Thief. That's fair. Uh, is there any information about the stone thief as like, I don't know, a living dungeon? Um, there is a brief mention of it. It's called and uh, it's called she who undermines to the dwarves. Um, uh, he, you find notes of him of Gromar ranting about being trapped in the library and forced to listen as death devoured his acolytes and servants. But that's it. Great. What's our vampire um, looking for? Our you're, the vampire is holding up books sideways. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you see, as vampire, very powerful, did not need to read. Also, very bright in here. Yes. Do not like. All right, stay close to me. Did the dame find anything about that? Um... Weapon to kill death. We'll get or to, we that to that. Let last. Uh, Callie, okay. you're br- you're going through books at a much faster rate than anyone else at sitting at the desk. What are you What are you looking for? What are you finding? Yeah, so Kalia's like uh, sitting in the chair, kind of kicking kicking her feet up on the table. She's looking for personal artifacts. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm looking for diaries. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm looking for uh, drunk ramblings of this Gromar guy. Um, I want his name, I want his address, I want his social security number, Mm -hmm. I want his life story. Um, And amongst various other notes where he talks about whispers and mocking voices in the stone, uh, and speculations about evil elementals, and his writing becomes very hard to decipher as his rantings go on and on. You also find a small but well-read tome about a forbidden romance between a dwarf and an opposing clan. I will pocket that for later. Uh, I will read it with the dame. <laughs> um, the dame and Kalia both looking around brush off dust from the wall where the skeleton was. And as Gromar ta- wrote and ranted about his research, he ran out of 
uh, paper, and then he started writing on the walls, and then he ran out of inks and started scratching it and with his fingernails. He ran out of fingernails and started using his blood, um, and then died where he was, scratching out a final formula. Um, where... Formula? Like a... Hold on, oh. I have it somewhere. I'll wait. <laughs> Ew. Where did I put this? No. No. Um. Loose? Did I put it under loose? I am very organized. There we go. There's five items. There's six items on the list, actually. But as you read them out. The Icar of a Koru Behemoth. Meteoric Iron from the Overworld. Ever-Burning Coal from the Underworld. The Soul of a Hero. The Blessing of the Dwarf King. And as you try to read the final item, the stone warps into a face. And it is the Mad Butcher himself. That's oh, all. shit! Well, hold on, I gotta clear the journal from uh, the stream. Uh, he uh, looks down at the dwarven skeleton, looks up at the party, and starts shrieking. Who killed my pet? My precious, precious dwarven pet! I've decided what to do with you for this crime. I shall stab you a bit and then send you down to the mad tailor so he can torment you for eternity. Welcome to combat. Welcome to eternity. Hey. Uh, what was what was this dwarf's name again? Gromar. No first or la uh, no last name. Uh, probably a last name. Okay, I'm I'm just I I'm just updating Kanka as we go. Uh <laughs> so, uh, GM, can we see this tunnel that leads farther? Back? Nope, that's not there. It's not real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't always use all things of the, yeah, you know, thing. Um, so there's no apparent way out, though. No, I mean back the way you came. Right. Okay. And the guy gave us no tips. And... The guy has what? He gave, the tiefling gave us no tips on how to get out or anything. Nope, he's never been in this library. He's never actually stepped foot in this library. Um, do we have that, like, adventurer sense about how scary this guy is? Uh, he feels like an appropriate boss battle for this level. Okay. Okay. I, I, my initiative didn't roll. Yeah, give me a second. I, um, oh, yeah, yeah, apparently yeah. didn't add, uh, my undead. Guys, I think we should try to convince the mad bitcher that it was the that killed his pet. Who's in it? It was stinky. It was stinky. No, dude. <laughs> We're trying to redemption our guy. <laughs> you guys all want to kill him. All he did was eat bodies to survive. Come on. Look. He wants to be a custodian, all right? I respect it. Um, out from his video. mouth dumps uh, several stone imps. Oh shit, that one's bulky. And that one's outside. And roll. Add to initiative. Perfect. And roll all of them. Aha, uh -huh. and begin combat, and change music, and pull out my new background battle music. And do this. I'm still not an initiative. Hell yeah. Why do you mean you're still on initiative? I've, somehow, I must have missed you, I guess. 
I'm up here. I've been sitting oh, on the skull. You haven't. Seen, I didn't see you up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lily, I I would, you are up first. Alan, sound familiar? Hmm. The music. Oh, I have it turned all the way down, pretty much. The moment <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> I can't hear. Body just. All right. Um. Well, I run over here, and with my regular bow, I can still target the butcher. Yep. All he right. has a big old face in the wall. Big old face in the wall. Eat I know minions when I see them. I go face. All right, I get to roll again. All right, twenty-one damage. All right, um, you yeah, your first arrow clinks off a piece of stone that apparently wasn't his face, but the second one lands and does the damage. All right, um, Grizz will. It leaves, a a, it leaves a mar in his face, and he starts yelling about it. <laughs> All right, Grizz will just uh, get in a defensive. Can he? Can Grizz hold action if anyone comes close enough? Yep. All right, then he'll defend me and hold action. And also, I yell at uh, our players. All right, Dame, it is your turn. Okay. Um. I think we will... So I'm trying to juggle. There's a lot of things on the screen. Um, so first of all, can I start... I didn't move my character at all. Can I start by moving like over to this you bookcase? Sure is where the game starts. Okay. Because that feels like a more reasonable spot. My right face! The um, then the dame is going to get Song of Heroes going. All right. And then she is going to, um, yeah, let's go ahead and target the Tart Stone Imp and Battle Chant. It's very, it's not sour, it's tart. It's tart, yeah. Which was da, 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 natural odd. And then did that hit? Ah, uh, that is a yes. hit. Okay, never mind. We still don't want to do that. We're also going to do hang tough and give Leanne three temporary hit points. Thanks, Mom. Got you. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and roll my sustain on Song of Heroes now. Could you give Kelly the temporary? Or no? She's is nearby. she nearby? Uh, you're mm -hmm. all nearby. All right. She looks to be in a compromised. That's true. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind if I can? <laughs> 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 Mom. Thanks, Mom. I see who you love more, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Well, one the of the, one of you went and got yourself to the it. middle of the road. Hey, it's Toon said that I went to go investigate the wall, so yeah. it made sense that I moved my yeah, character. Yeah, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. The um, one I time I follow the rules. <laughs> I did not get the sustain on Song of Heroes, so we'll be going into final verse next time. All right, sounds good. Uh, it is now the Mad Butcher's turn. Um, he is going to target um, Raza. With a trap. Um, uh oh. Apparently that target didn't go off. Um, Raza, alright, so that was a natural roll of 12. Is that higher than your strength? Absolutely not. Is that higher than your dexterity? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh. Um, and the. the uh, ground of the skull you're on shifts upward and dumps you down onto the floor in front of you, and you take 20 damage. Whoa. All right. It is now your turn. Nope, sorry. Callie's turn. That's a long initiative. Yeah, so I'm not currently engaged with anything, correct? You are so, not. So I could move a little bit. 
Um, the, so the stone thief is a face in the, or not the stone thief, fuck, the mad butcher. He can't move, or can he? What makes you think he can't move? I mean, he's just a face. Yeah, he's a face that materialized outside of an otherwise normal wall with writing on it. <sighs> and, uh, these, uh, imps are not mooks, correct? They are not. Okay. Um... Wait a second, they're not. No, that'd be too easy. Too easy, I say. Boss fight. Too easy. Uh, I am just gonna smash this guy's face, I guess. All right, you step over the skeleton of Gromar and uh, try to punch Mad Butcher in the face, uh, but you don't find purchase and only do miss it. I miss a rock fitting still. I cannot believe. This is why you got the hit points. Oh, uh, and I'm also gonna do my halo. Uh... Uh... Hey, hey, fuck this rock. You're lucky I didn't hit you or else you wouldn't have a nose anymore. Let me observe the circumstances here. Yeah, it's a lot of imps. All right, cool. Nice work, Liam. <laughs> Fuck this rock. Fuck this rock. Okay. Uh, I'm going to charge uh, the first hostile I see. This imp uh, is on the precipice of a very bad day. Oh, yeah, he is. I'm going to uh, hit him with my basic and hope that that is enough to down him. Oh, that is 20. a big ol' hit for 20 damage. I swing Halval, who crashes against stone and apparently only scratches the imp. Oh boy. Um, and I guess that's my turn for now. All right, uh, it is now the Stone Imp's turn. Um, they are going to, one of them is going to go up behind Kalia and take a nice old stony claw. Uh, the other is already engaged with Raza and is going to claw him. Um, Kalia's shield blocks the first imp's hit. Uh, Raza's dancing in combat with the other imp. Um, the other two imps are going to start, uh, they don't really fly, they hop around with their wings. Uh, <laughs> and they're, one can only get this far. Uh, he's gonna, just gonna stick, stick out his tongue at Leanne, and the other is going to get, give Grizz a 1-4. Grizz should be biting oh. first, however. Yeah, Chris is an yep. attack of opportunity. That's true. Uh, Grizz was holding action. Go ahead and roll. Grizz uh, was ready target. and wait. That's okay. That's going to be a hit. Uh, uh, did Grizz take 20 damage? Ooh. Yeah, it's Humpers. big, heavy stone damage, but the um, imp takes 14 damage in return. Hmm. <sighs> Lucian, is top of the round is your turn. All right. Well, was that like an impressive hit by the? Did he like roll in fifteen? But his his damage was as high as it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep targeting the mad butcher. Okay. And say, Chris, you got this fight. <laughs> Uh... You roll the turn order back, it got advanced to me. Uh, I... Oh, it's back to Lucian, there you go. Alright. Um... turn order sucks. I think someone hit in turn. Oh, what was it me? Uh, it's okay. Um, your arrow is a miss and you don't get the second hit. Alright, well then I will re-roll. <laughs> okay. Um, what is that? Feed. This one. 
Dun, dun. Oh, that's an even. It's an even at least. And, and it hit. Woo! Get him again, boys. Uh, oh, you're... No. <laughs> that is a natural one with a ranged attack, and your ally isn't engaged. It hits Kalia instead from the back. Um, <laughs> Kalia takes 17 oh, damage. Oh my god! I applied it. Oh my god! Oh my now, god! Kali, you you feel the bright a bright flash of pain as an arrow one arrow flies past you, hits a butcher, but the other embeds itself in your back shoulder. Oh, I know exactly who it's from. Oh, I wonder who can be firing arrows right now. Is it Lucy? Oh, looks looks like someone wants sharper rocks in their sleeping bag this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, is that uh, your start putting them in your boots? Chris will attack too. All right. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. He gets a good hit against um the imp. Alright. Um how low is it? I can't read what it Barely says. Barely injured. Barely. Okay, never mind. Alright. Dame is now your turn. Yep. So we have I'm just gonna throw it up so everybody sees it. We have the final round, final verse of Song of Heroes. Um so somebody gets a plus two on their attack roll. Let's do Kalia. Um and, good. <laughs> Huh? That's that's a, probably a good call. Yeah. Um and then we're going is to that... Oh that's a Bonus to the attack roll. Oh, okay. Yep. And then we're going to target a different imp. And we will... Where'd it go? Battle chant again. Uh, that is not a hit. Your um, battle chant just soaks into the stony exterior of the imp. It is a natural even, though, so if somebody wants a disengage check, um, they can have a free... Uh, sorry, what is it? Um, it? One of my engaged allies can make a disengage check as a free action, or an unengaged ally can move as a free action. Anyone hmm. want it? Does Raza want it? I'm good. No, no, I depend on being able to kill one of these imps. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're good? Um, yeah. Unless we think Chris should move, but then I'd be... No, alright. Okay. Ending turn. Alright, it's now the Mad Butcher's turn. Um, he is going to turn his attention to his, the engaged foe, Kalia, and shoot out spikes from the wall beside him. Um, and they are going to, uh, a lot, her shield is going to catch a ton of them, but some are going to get past and impale Kalia several times. Huh? Apply as damage? Um, and then uh, he's going to laugh and say, damage? Please he's, work. <laughs> do you have yourself selected? No. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah. Um, he's going to laugh and say, let's change the fight rules a bit. Um, and the escalation die is going to increase by one, so I'm going to cycle through turnover real quick. And but all of the enemies get uh, to use the escalation die uh, for this round. And it is now Kalia's turn. Well, ouch! That hurt. Um, let me double check my heal. So if I use my Asimir heal as a quick action on myself, I can do that, right? Yep, yeah, you sure can. Yeah, one ally. So I can use it as a, a quick action and still attack. Yep. Okay. Uh, I will do that then. I will heal... Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Uh, and... Whoa! Mad Butcher's upside down now. You rolled uh, private dice. 
Did I? Yeah. Yeah. That was an accident. I don't know how to change that. I rolled a 20. I will literally send a screenshot. Send a screenshot of your roll real quick. But uh, uh, there's a drop down that says private or self or blind. (gasps) Oh, that's what. Okay. Um, Shouldn't the GM be able to see that, though? No. no. If it's self rolled, no. Uh, And then after that, I'm just going to attack with my tower shield. Wow. Talk about ass. Um, You were given a plus two. Why is the map butcher upside down? I mean, even if it's I get a plus two, it's still not going to be. Um, who has icon? He's the mad butcher. He doesn't need a reason. Yeah. I don't think any of us have icon relationships too. Leanne this... has Diablo That's... six We've been and in Emperor here for six. Four Dame, weeks. Dame has Dwarf King five. Lucian has Priest of six, and Rasa has two Emperor sixes. If so, someone... oh my God, why haven't you guys been using them? Wait a sec. I don't have two Emperor sixes. I have the Druid and the Archmage. Uh, right, but you rolled Emperor earlier and still have some. Oh. Oh god, I just... Uh, and that's still a miss with the added dames effect? Correct, uh, but I'll let yeah. one of you guys spend a icon relationship to boost her attack even further. God damn it, Kelly, why can't you just hit something? Uh, I don't see you standing right up in its face and taking damage. You're right, I'm shooting you in the back, I shouldn't be talking. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. You know what, Lucian, I think your priest of six is is, is owed for hurting her. Tell, tell us about how your connection with the priestess, uh, a blessing that you maybe gave Kalia when Kalia wasn't looking, helps her land this hit. Wow, and she'll never know. She'll never know. Uh, that that's that's the biggest defeat. <laughs> um, all since I'm not engaged, um, and I did hit her. Extra. Yeah, she doesn't you go down on my watch. Damage. Seventeen. I've had some basic hit for the most people, but you know, Formus damage is pretty good. Um, so I'll, I'll just say a quick prayer. For Kalia, even though I know I'm going to hear it later, and she'll never know. Kalia glows ever so briefly. You could almost not tell that it happened. Um, and she returns the favor of a wall of spikes back to the Mad Butcher, and he gets hit for 14 dam- for, for 18 damage. Ugh. Take that, Stinky. Ha! In your face, in your stupid stony face. Can't believe I had to use a six on you, Kelly. Yeah. Spikes! To the face. (laughs) All right, Leanne, it's now your turn. Yeah. I've got a plan. I have a plan. I just need a little more money. I'm going to (laughs) miss. You ready? Hey, that's pretty cool. Hello. There he is. Uh, you rush down the stairs and with your now uh, magical cane, lop off an entire arm of the stone imp and gain three command points as you deal 24 oh. damage to it. Why do you ever weigh the odds if you get command points? For- because he misses most of the time and gets more command uh, points. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just shouldn't have swore. That's so true. Uh, by the way, your uh, ring of purity um, zaps you for 1d6 <laughs> damage. Roll it. <laughs> uh, the the stony exterior kind of the imp falls away, away, and now that it's staggered, it will take ha- double damage. I mean, that was more of the player um, swearing than Lucian. <laughs> oh, baby! Welcome to Raza. Welcome to Raza. I'll be your host, Raza. How may I help you today? Raza, strike that imp down. All right, listen. It it does. It's not always like this. It's still twenty versus AC. <laughs> Raza, that's a miss. Raza. That's not a miss. Two. Raza. That's not. Wait a second. Twenty versus AC. Uh huh. And that still misses. That's a that miss. Is, you get plus two from the last round of Song of Heroes. That goes to one person. 
Oh, right. Sorry. But, Rosa, and I you, wasted it. If you know you hit, you ended up hitting with a. I wouldn't have let it happen without. Uh, Rosa, Rosa, if you want to expend your Emperor Six and tell us about how the Dame song was powerful enough to inspire you as well, I'll give you the plus two, which will make it a hit. Okay. Uh, so the Emperor has been watching, like, with the help of the Archmage. He's got, like, a little viewing ball set up. Uh, and with his near omnipotent uh, 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 grasp of reality over the uh, you know over the realm, uh, he like flicks his wrist, and Halval's angle of approach is like twisted in Ross's grip. Are you implying that the Emperor is secretly watching your party at all times? Whoa, that's tasty! All right, uh, it's a hit. He's collecting our browser data too. Twenty-one. <laughs> Right. Uh, the imp c cracks and is now uh, staggered as well. Oh, does it, and he takes double damage. He will start taking double damage now. And it. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Um. All right. The That's imp behind, my turn. Yeah, it's the end of your turn unless you want to move. Oh, Lucian, did you do Grizz's turn? I thought that was a free basic attack. Oh, yeah, sorry. You're right. Sorry, I. Lan, is yeah, that the end of your turn? Yeah, I hit the button for a reason. Yep, sorry, my bad. I I, I saw Raza attack. I saw turn tracker on Raza. No, so I understand. Small, it's intimidating. My small brain is like, <laughs> nope, he's done now. Hey, hey, I'm the lizard here. Yeah. <laughs> Grow that brain. Uh. <laughs> so a couple of things then. I. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think what I'm going to do is. I'm going to wage my bets on Barbaric Cleave working on this thing. But I'm going to make a basic attack to start the chain off. All right, hold on a second. That was so close to a 20 on the, All right, the visual. The fucking... Hey, you know what I have? I have no, he's like this. So when everyone's watching, huh? It's, it, does, it, 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 it isn't always like this. I All swear. Right. <laughs> so you're going to shut up so I can talk? Thank you. I have a moment of glory and I rolled a two. I can add that to your attack roll and that should be a hit, right? Yep. There you go. Okay, so double damage you said, right? Yeah. 52. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you cleave through. Hobble cleaves through the stone imp as it goes flying into literal pieces. So uh, a hobble um, sort of carrying through with the momentum of smashing this thing apart uh enables uh the barbaric cleave i have a plus two to hit on a separate target now uh -huh. this may be uh i'm gonna come up on <laughs> oh no 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 there's so much going on right now what is happening <laughs> They're Did arguing in chat. Kalia is so mad. Kalia is so <laughs> mad that this wall just called her a smooth brain. <laughs> She's so mad. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to uh, move in behind the imp behind Kalia. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And, like, Raza is leaping through the air and twirling as he does so. Um with this barbaric cleave just winding up the entire time so with a plus two to hit. Let's see. 24 oh, against right. AC. Right. 24 against AC. 24 damage. All right. That is a hit. Uh, and you rip into this. Okay. Uh, for 24 damage. That is... Uh, oh, do I... Ha no, that's it. I don't have another action. Alright. That's my turn. Oh, I said that was an imp. Oh, well. <laughs> um, speaking of that imp, it now gets to add the escalation die. It's turning its attention on Raza, who just hit him. Um, and it is going to throw a... 
a nice big stony claw at him. Oh, how dare you! Uh, the purple. Is... These guys are rolling twenties for damage. They don't roll damage. That's just their flat damage. Oh, it, is. Oh. it says the dice twenty equals twenty. Yeah, that's just, they just roll flat damage. Yep. Uh, wow. the, the dice icon is just an artifact of how damage is done. Um, all enemies always, uh, essentially, always do flat damage. Oh. Uh, the uh, one there are some. There are some exceptions. Well, sorry, I put you in, in damage in uh, <laughs> Warpath here, Grizz. I thought that was... Um, speaking of which, that is a hit against Grizz for 20 damage. Um, the r Tart Stone Imp is going to roll a d20. And he's going to fail. And so Good. he doesn't get to consume his nearby ally. And instead, he's just going to throw stone claws at uh, Leanne. Dude, I'm not ready to have these claws thrown at me. No, <laughs> not Leanne. You're, you're not ready, but it happens anyway. Lucian, is now your turn. All right. Well, um, I have left danger. Um, so as a quick action, I will do which means he gets a free recovery return. He will get my Wisdom modifier, which, what is that even? Is, am I wise? Six. All right, so here's a recovery. He gets 23 health. Let me... What do you, what's 14 plus 23? <laughs> <laughs> 37. Uh, Okay, got it. Um, and then, yeah, continue to target the Mad Butcher. Uh, here we go. Uh oh, that's not good. That is just a miss. Yep, that sucks. All right. Um, and then Grizz will <laughs> target. This guy. I swear to God, if you hit me again. I can't shoot again, so. I'm just rolling really poorly. Grace's teeth, well. teeth find no purchase on the stone imp. All right, that's all right, because we'll reroll that. He goes for a second bite. And... <laughs> yes! Um... <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Probably. And that's against a stone imp, not the Mad Butcher, and th that is a miss, even still. Really? Uh, mm -hmm. All right, I didn't want to have to, but I'll attack <laughs> twice. <laughs> Chris goes for the third bite. All right, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, nice. That's going to be a hit. Yeah! Oh, and you get it. You get Grizz leap finally after darting wow, really between this thing's ankles. Uh, run, <laughs> he runs boy. up and bites. It's now staggered. It'll take double damage. Good work, boy. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. And Kelly, some people don't have Leanne. <laughs> helping them. Sometimes they pick up raw power to kill the imps. <laughs> what was that about, imps? Make sure to clear them out. That was an order. All right, Dame, is now your turn. Going to real basic, just echoing thunder on the outside stone imp. Thank you. Save Grizz. That is a hit. <laughs> it is badly injured, but still standing. Is that including the double damage? Oh, you're right. My bad. Um, that is including the double damage, though. Okay. It is near death. Uh, going to be the dame's turn. All right. Oh. Chris appreciates it. He'll give you. Wait, 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 wait! Did my Sorry. turn just get skipped? No, I, I, Hello. Nope. I hit end turn at the same time someone else did. Uh, it's the Mad Butcher's turn. Um, he is going to. Be annoyed at the person at the range. He is going to think for a short second, and he is going to flip a coin and throw a trap at Lucian. That's nope, not what I want. 
Kinky. I'm right here, you coward. I will get to you later. I wouldn't say that. I've got like four recovery. I can take them. Hopefully. All right, well then. Uh, all right, the natural roll was 16. Is that higher than your strength? Absolutely not. Is that higher than your dexterity? Absolutely not. Uh, but you are poisoned as a couple poison darts fly out of the wall at you, dealing 20 damage and poisoning you. <laughs> um, he is then gonna he's going to laugh some more and the walls are going to start closing in. Kalia, your turn. Um, man, I got so excited last session to use all my new invocations that I used all my new invocations at once. Or did I? I don't even remember. I'm getting, I'm getting the tournament confused with the last session, actually. Um. Uh, all, I, all I can really do is just hit this guy. Be quiet! Oh no. Why? Why? Now, Kelly, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm saving my uh, command for Raza. Good what? idea. What? Kelly, are you doing anything else with your turn? <laughs> You could quick Just action. Heal, you could quick action. Give a recovery to Raza. <laughs> no, it's my last one. Fuck Raza. He's got his own. He's got his own. No, no, fuck that. I'm, I'm saving it. My turn's over. Leanne is now your turn. You've done an impressive amount of damage to this imp. What do you do? Well, Toon, you know me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attack. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna roll a two. No, oh, there's two in there. You see, um, Rumham Whoa. sucked up all of your bad luck. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. you're going to take out this stone imp and crush it to pieces. Leanne, please come help me. Uh, you can hold on. All right, you're, you're no longer engaged. Huh? <laughs> and you're telling me the escalation die is free. Yeah. So you're telling oh me I can do this. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and you're telling me I can move. Yep. And you have a quick action. Oh. The so priestess good. breath is... So good. Praise the priestess. So, Leanne bursts through with her twirling cane, the first imp. Soundly judges the scene and then rushes over and cracks into the other imp, breaking into a thousand dusty pieces from behind. And then does like a cool glasses push up thing. Oh, Nothing yeah. personnel, <laughs> kid. A fat kiss from Chris later. <laughs> All right. Finish off that last imp, Raza. This won't last long. All right. Okay. There's other uh, things besides the imps. Uh, He's good at taking out those enemies. So, uh, I haven't done this yet, and I'm, I think now's as good a time as any. Uh, Halval shouts, Kalia, your shield! Hide! As uh, Raza, like, he looks like he's having a bad case of indigestion. Um, smoke is starting to pour out of his nostrils, and his chest swells for a minute. Uh, like, light travels up from his gut into his throat. And then out of his mouth, as he breathes flame, stored away a long time ago, uh, out over the walk. imp and into, yeah, <laughs> out over the imp and into the face of the mad butcher. All right. Uh, and I don't know there's a macro on it, uh, but it targets two enemies and it does uh, 4d6 fire damage. Uh, it targets 1d3 enemies. Okay. And it so rolled one. I'll roll. It's, in the, it's already in the thing. Uh, it rolled It rolled one? Yep. Okay, then I think it's going to be... Uh, you know what? I Can I... Can you? you have another is it, is icon worth an, relationship. Yeah, is it worth an icon relationship to bump that up to two? 
Why nah, not? Nah, it's... I mean, it's only 18 damage. <laughs> just get rid 40, of the imp. 46? Yeah. No, just, just put it all into the imp. Okay. Also, uh, you rolled... Perfect fire damage. Perfect fire damage. Yeah, you rolled. Uh, oh, sorry. No, you're 46. You're not 36. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, yeah, let's put it all on the imp then. Uh, the imp starts melting around the sides as you push it into um, staggered range. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, then. Now, as a I breath think... weapon, you'll get to re be able to reuse it in the future, potentially. In this battle. Oh. In this battle? In this battle, you'll roll a D, uh, d20 at the start of each turn. If it's 16+, oh, plus, you'll okay. get to use it again if you want. Okay. Uh, I think cutting through that fire, um, Halval is going to uh, teleport through his hand and fly through the flames at the imp for oh. six damage. Yep. Wow, that... That did not do... Uh, oh, yeah, hang no. on now. What if I told you... Oh, no. 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 It can't be true. You can't give him another D20. <laughs> well. 16 on top of that, so... Um, you can uh, re-roll that 3 if you want. I would. Okay. So then it's... So let's just do all the the multiplication of two later. So twenty times two is forty. Yeah, you uh, the and, damage bonus from my modifier just for overkill. Yeah, with that damage modifier, you melt this imp to and break it into pieces. Its pieces melting back together and breaking further, and it is dead. Uh, right, it's sure like. Uh... Raza just like sh Raza just shakes his head and burps out another smaller gouter flame. <laughs> oh, I accidentally ended the turn instantly. <laughs> All right, let's go back, Lurshin. All right. Um. Well, thank you for. Saving Grizz there, which by the way he gets the charisma bonus. I will range attack. Which unfortunately isn't an odd, but I'm sure it hits. You mean isn't an even? Yeah. <laughs> simps aren't real in this world. Stop breaking my immersion. <laughs> hey, Known imps, work. simps, I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. <laughs> Here you go, Lucian. I'll let you uh, do some re-rolling of damage. All right. Um, All right, so you rolled a 2, a 3, a 5, and a 1 out of your D6s. I would re-roll the 1 and the 2. Yeah, you... and you can roll number 1. You can have the extra damage. So side. I would just roll 3 D6. That's my advice as well. Not very well. <laughs> good, but... All right, and so minus nine, four. minus four, and then minus the, God. All right. All right, is that your turn? Oh, hell no. Grizz is going to try to finish him off. Come on, boy. <laughs> wow, Grizz nine. <laughs> hey, at least he, he hit that time. <laughs> wow. He did hit. He gives a nice little bite on the on the Mad Butcher's nose. Hi, Mad Butcher. He's All done right. more than Kalia. I really can't say anything. Dame. Also, Lucian, take five poison damage and then roll d twenty to try to save against it. All right. Uh... Um, that's a normal save on your sheet. I am officially out of uh, being able to yell at people, by the way. Until my turn. You are still poisoned. Ah! I'm... My sheet is being all kinds of weird now. It's... 
Okay. My targeting is all broken. Weird. Yeah. I had to refresh once already. Yeah, I think I, I think need to I refresh. Have it's it's, it's not letting me retarget. All right, so one second. It's I get in such a bad habit of calling everyone. Calling Sorry everybody. in advance, Sub and L. I've already done that twice. Okay. Open up my sheet again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, target. We'll save the other thing. All right. We're going to um, Echoing Thunder at the Mad Butcher. Maybe. It's now telling me what... Did it roll multiple times because it was lagging? It did because it was lagging so bad. Please just... I don't even... I don't even see your roll. No, I'll refresh roll real quick. That's what I'm going to do. It's coming. I'm just apparently lagging super bad. No, I think it's the server. I, yeah. Just tell Cody it was a 20. I, I'm lagging too. <laughs> Soon. Hold on. <laughs> Legislator lackeys. I don't Soon. understand why it's lagging. Come on. Did the server just die? I hope not. I could. It might have died. I hit it's refresh. So stream. Stream. But no, we're no, we're streaming. Like it's responding somewhat, but the server just kind of seems to have. It's coming back. I don't know why it suddenly decided to just like halt. Uh, Did you guys finally get my rolls then? Uh, no, I don't see any of your no. rolls. I, I, I saw. I see your two echoing thunder rolls, wow. but I also yeah, see the Rumham lacks permission to delete combat. All right, now I see. Yeah, it. it keeps the telling me it can't hits for combat. All right, the first one hits for seventeen. Oh shit! It should only be the first one, so yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. Do I, I? I maybe I just need to restart the server after so long. Probably a good idea to do that. Okay. It's like your PC, you gotta restart every once in a while. Um, I no longer have a thing for the turn order. Yep, give me, I'm just gonna quickly restart the server. Anyway, your thunder damage cracks into his face as it starts um, uh, turning to dust. Excellent. I should just focus on one thing at a time. Gotta connect to the server. Well, it wouldn't be a stream without technical issues of some form. This is what you get for uh, running alphas. Really? But we were in beta at this no, point. Well, so we're on stable foundry, but alpha um, 13th age. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe it's the visual novel. Uh, I hope not. I do like it. Please hold. I'm not trying to delete combatants in no, period. I'm on. sorry. I'm, I, I have restarted the server. I am relaunching the world. Uh, there were all sorts of tasty logs for me to dig into later about what module this time I installed that's making it laggy. Go ahead and you might even have to like close your tab and re-go back to it. But it seems like we are back up and running. Yeah, I just did a refresh and then it had me sign back into the thing and now I'm in Yeah, it just told me server. Yeah. Yep, let me refresh. Do not peek here behind the curtain. You know, that one dwarf on our login screen. Kind of a cutie. Yeah. 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 Is that the heroine of that romance novel? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> All right. So, we're back in business, right, everyone? We are back in business. All right. <laughs> Apologies for that. Um, gosh. Mad Butcher's turn, huh? It is the Mad Butcher's turn. Uh, the Mad Butcher at this point is like his face is contorting between rage and fear and anger and all those tasty emotions that someone has when they thought that they had when their toys bite them. Um, 
And he is going to go, no, 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 no. And then he's going to consider for a brief moment and say, I am tired of playing with you. And the floor is going to fall out from beneath you guys as he fades what? into the wall. And you and you start plummeting down a chute. What? You hear his laughter trail behind you as he sends you away. Uh, it's a long, windy path. Um, there's a couple sharp bumps. There's even a few blades you nearly avoid. And then it dumps you out into the next level of the... Yeah, the server is still catching up from everything, apparently. Um, Coward! It's... She fears death. Yeah, don't we all? Uh, it dumps you out into the next level, the gizzard. Um, this area is a fairly large open cavern. It's dimly lit. It kind of looks like a canyon. Um, and you guys, I, I mean, if I could get it to activate, I would show you. Oh, the stream sees it. Mm -hmm. Wait, do they? Yeah. Um, and you guys take a nice tumble. The, um, what's it called? The submergence dice is now three. Um, and you're going to get a chance to. Sit, find, set up a temporary camp in this canyon and get a full recover, full full heal up. Yay! Oh, Does that mean we get all of our recoveries? All your recoveries, all of your uh, recharges. Man, I was so ready to fucking pop this shit. I know. <laughs> all right, just I never get a chance. Me. It's okay. I'm going to get the server back under hand. That is the end of the session anyway. Um, Rumham, what's something you liked? What's something or someone you want to see again? Uh, I liked uh, the uh, cool module, um, the talking module. Um, but on the same note, uh, I thought it was kind of a little bit weird with NPCs, especially when we're supposed to be, like, trying to uh, retain what he's telling us. Um, it's just a little weird not so hearing on that someone note, talk. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, think we'll, I think we've started finding a good, like, certain important things I said out loud, um, certain narration. I really appreciate it, Seb, jumping in and doing those narrations. Um, yeah, but for random tid like random tidbits that were just jabs and such being you know in the background in the text, I think worked well. And there's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. a discord. No, I, no, I just I yeah, just there's meant a discord specifically... dump of everything said in character yeah. called character chat. Oh yeah, I've, I've been I've been I've been keeping up with it. Yeah, I think it's just it I was think just weird. Important in that one information instance. will be delivered yeah. vocally in mm -hmm. pretty much all cases going forward uh, uh, yeah that was that was just my one little like it was kind of weird but also like it's just not what i'm used to since i've been playing where people just talk mm -hmm. for i'm so about to years. join a text only game i've see i've done text only but i've never done something where we usually mm -hmm. say everything and then randomly there was like nothing uh, so that's kind of what threw me off but I, I still thought the module was really, really cool. I do. Again, I think in the future, like, I appreciate Seb jumping in for the narration. We might just make that the default. Um, wow, not narration. all of us have cool voices. I can do one funny character voice, and that's it. I can't do voices either. Yeah, I can't do voices. Donald Duck. Yes. Uh, uh, but yeah, that was kind of my something I liked, and then, like, something that was just a little weird but i mean it was it was the first time i'm just glad it worked it was really cool um something i want to see again uh i liked uh doing stupid risky stuff <laughs> like going uh i'm still gonna keep doing it uh, i like having that option to do something that's a little riskier like going to try and find lucian even though the minotaur is right there uh, and and not getting punished for it. Uh, I like being punished in certain things that I can easily control, uh, and not 
not punished in other ways where I cannot control it. <laughs> I think that says something about me personally, though. I think the server's caught up, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're back on the uh, the home screen. All right, Ellen, something you yeah. like, something or someone you want to see again? Um, I liked the library. I thought that was a cool map. I liked getting to go look for books. Um because I am out of character a nerd. Um I mean in character you're a bit of a nerd. You don't you let the people see a nerd. You but literally have a magic item that lets you look at old ruins as if they're new. Burn. The dame does not self identify as a nerd. Thank you very much. <laughs> she is a theater geek. Excuse you. Oh, even worse. Oh. Um, She's a theater kid. Um, let's see, something I want to see again. Um, gosh, I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to, like, see, like, any of this stuff, like, getting brought back. Um, because, you know, I don't want to see the Minotaur again. Um. Uh, you know you will, though. Yeah, but I don't want to. <laughs> um, I think that's my answer. I want no Minotaur. <laughs> the second half of the session where there was not a Minotaur, that was great. Um, pow. Um, I pretty much enjoyed the entirety of this session. Uh, Minotaur was, um, if it wasn't for the fact that he rolled low, probably would have been far scarier. Mm -hmm. Butcher fight was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Uh, library was cool. Dwarven cookbooks. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, what I would like to see going forward, though. Um, more fights to go to Escalation Die 4. Yep. Yeah. I second that. I would love to ever actually get to use half of my fucking tactics I own. Uh, also, Toon, can I use Biting Time? Can I store my command points? Um, if you had some, yeah, go ahead and store one point in. Oh, hell yeah. I you're won. just, you're, you're collapsed, you're going down the chute and you're like, Store, store, store. Just instinctually, her commanding energy just fucking dissipates into it. Did you like meeting a new tiefling? Eh, they were right. <laughs> they were all right. A, a little too straight for Leanne. That interaction, <laughs> that interaction was a little too hetero. That's why you got the double strength um, curse, though. Because <laughs> nice. he thought she was cute? No, because there's two tieflings nearby. Oh, oh, I guess that means... I imagine that our vampire made it the whole level, too. Yeah, where... Like, your vampire is... Verlon is, went down to shoot with you. I guess he hung back with in, with the books and then just kind of shoop into the shoot. And is... Wait, that, you still have him? I felt him the same behind me the whole time. If I had to give an estimate of where Vermon was, he was like in between Dame and Lucian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Verlon has, I don't think, Verlon has, yeah, Verlon has not seen the, the even this amount of sky, not that this big cavern is really amounts to a sky in forever. And he's like, his, you know, hissing like, sunlight hiss. Um, and as you guys set up, you know. He's not a vampire anymore. But he forgets, it's been a while, right? Um, I, like, yep. Whatever food you eat, he thinks is too gross and cooked, or even dried food, and he's just pulling out chunks of, like, old dead meat. Oh, I'll get him past that. Pass. He's uh, a trooper. Max, something you like, something or someone you want to see again? Well, it was the first time I rolled... You rolled what? Oh, you got out there. That I rolled a one, and I yeah. accidentally shot somebody in our own team. Mm -hmm. By the way, that wrong tune? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? That's that wrong? You're supposed to re-roll the attack against Kalia. Oh, well, it's the first time. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So there was a chance it could have missed. Eh. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Oh, I think it's more dramatic that way. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thanks. I also could have hit a twenty or crit something. <laughs> You also could have just not, yeah, you could have just not hit me. That, that could have happened, too. 
Well, Damn you, Lauren Jesus. Damn you. All right, continue. Um, what I like, um, I like the you had like the characters want. You're cutting out there. Oh, I like that we could learn what our characters wanted to in the uh, uh, library there. I like how yeah. you're upset that other people... Yeah, I'm upset that the party didn't actually want to learn anything. So they can't. It makes sense. To them, so. All right. Um, Go ahead. And then, uh, I guess, yeah, I'd also like to see Kalia hit something, maybe. And uh, that's about it. Wow, Sep. two digs. Two, two digs. digs. Wow. Uh, I liked the stone thief. Um, I thought that was a fun encounter. I like the... Uh, the stone crunch- thief is it- the whole dungeon? I, sorry, the mad butcher. I okay. also still like... So I, 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 I really like the the stone thief as a dungeon. It's still... I talk about it at the end of every session, and I'm, I I didn't want to talk about it this time, but I <laughs> subconsciously brought it up. This is the first session you actually saw the innards of the stone thief. You saw its ectoplasmum doing its do. Is that what those trendles, mm-hmm. trend, trend, tendrils were? Yep. In the arena with the... Okay, that's pretty neat. Um, so I would like to see the essence of the stone thief, you know, like mm-hmm. what it looks like. Uh, like this, like the simps that we were fighting earlier. Yeah, the stone imps. Uh, right, the simps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they had like they had like a soft, melty nougat center. The stone thief obviously has something like that too, and I think I would be very interested in seeing that in a more sort of do not eat coale- coalesced form. You know, do not eat. Uh, new, it's a new one, unique thing for Raza. First creature to eat a living dungeon. Oh no. <laughs> um that uh, yeah, I also like breathing fire as an ability for Raza. I know that that was it at the end of that combat and probably never happen again. But if we could find some way around that that distinction and make it that you know, like a more regular thing, I would not be upset. Um, um you could multi-class into sorcerer and go down the draconic route. Or just ask blue balls very nicely once we kill the stone thief. I'm sure I, I, I would say that's a worthy trade-off. Uh, Raza, I will die with Raza <laughs> not speaking, at least not in traditional senses. Sorcerer um, has an entire chain of draconic magic, including leaping around um, with like fire feet and breathing fire at people. Um, might be an interesting multi-class for Raza. See, that's, that's the thing. I don't see him doing all that. I just see. I just see a, a big feral lizard, but the fire breath just hits too much on like the Godzilla note for me, and I really I'm a huge fan. Uh, so I, that was a big like sort of fanboy moment for me in the fiction. Um, something I would love to see again. Uh, so this is a this is an actual biome inside of the Stone Thief, and if we could like see, and it's sort of it's interesting, right, that the Stone Thief isn't just taking in buildings but also like wilderness area that it finds mm-hmm. so important so what if there was like a fairy glade in there or maybe like an undead cemetery or something of the sort that the stone thief just wanted to add to its collection because it can um it likes not I really... only places of beauty but places of power and that power can be more than that can be natural power yeah so i think you know the druid uh, might have something to say about that, so I'm just I'm just real interested in that sort of stuff. Awesome. Um, something or someone you want to see again? Uh, <laughs> the chat just said a moth GF. Uh, so let's just workshop yes! on that for a minute. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, something or someone I would I want to get back at that mad butcher. That motherfucker oh, didn't yeah. get away. Yeah. He didn't get away. He just he just delayed the ass kicking. <laughs> Alan, did you like me using the mood cube for the mad butcher? I was mad at you. So the mood cube is the real thing that like is in our house. 
Yeah, I, I was trying to find a picture for Kanka, and I just went to the server, and I found that picture you posted there, Tune, when you were showing it to me. Yeah. Yep. It's, yep it that's... looks just as creepy. Still looks creepy. That That is an actual thing. Um, Again, I outside I, I I'm pretty sure it was just the server hadn't been restarted in literally months. But hope, um, outside of that, I really pre I like the visual module. Um, I I want to one day have a voice half as good as what Seb can do. Um, but I really appreciate you stepping in for that narration. Uh, you did a great job with it. Um, I like how the party has a groove that they get into, um, both role play and combat wise. It was nice to see um, Lucian have a cleric to interact with. Um, you guys are near Santa Cora. It might be where you go next. Um, I want more. No, 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 no. It was no, nice gross. to see Leanne hit her moves. Uh, yeah. I, man. That's just whack. I couldn't tell you why it happens, but it sure seems like in a given battle, one person has bad luck. Most people have re a average luck, and then one person's on a roll. And it really felt like Leanne and Raza were both on uh, like no, Leanne was on a good roll, and Raza had a lot of twos, but still managed to pull out a, some of his. He doesn't get to see like attacking more than once. Um, it was a good session. I like that you guys survived the gauntlet. That is, in theory, the scariest part of the Stone Thief that you'll encounter this run through. This is the final level that you'll be exploring. Um, and chat says that Lucha Cafe says the Bad Butcher was fun. The graphic for the text was good. I want to see the sexy tiefling again. Um, low tier tiefling says they like the new pop-ups of art when people talk, though it's weird seeing Leanne's art pop up because it's new. Um, that's uh, Runa, right? Uh, I don't dox people. <laughs> I like how the Mad Butcher swapped ex facial expressions. Um, also, more tieflings are good. Um, and then people want Raza to have a moth girlfriend. I second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh that. <laughs> uh, there are at least slaves in the Stone Thief and a, and a bunch of orcs. Um, tiefling so we'll find out more about that next uh, week have a good one everyone yay